In this video, I'm going to show you how to use two strategies to add decimals, a visual model and the standard algorithm. We're going to start with the visual model. There's a hundredths grid on the slide and we're going to shade it in to represent both of the add ends, 43 hundredths and 18 hundredths. To shade in 43 hundredths, we're going to grab one of the colored rods on the side of the slide and we're going to drag it over the model. The rod will fill in one of the columns, which is one tenth or can also be known as 10 hundredths. In order to shade in 43 hundredths, stretch the rod so that it covers four of the columns, which is 40 hundredths, and then you can either drag one of the squares or another rod and adjust the size of it to cover three hundredths of the next column. To shade in the second add end, 18 hundredths, we're going to select a different color. If you're having trouble dragging the rods or columns correctly over the model, one tip that I have is to zoom in on the slides. To do this, simply go up to the toolbar, go to the magnifying glass, click on the downward arrow, and you can either zoom in to 100% or 200%. Use another color to fill in the rest of the fifth column, which is 7 hundredths. I'm going to drag one of the pink rods and just make it a little bit shorter so it only covers 7 of the hundredths. So far I have 7 hundredths, I'm going to fill in the next column to have a total of 17 hundredths, so I need one more hundredth, which means I'm going to drag a pink square over the first square in the sixth column. And if you zoomed in on the slides, don't forget to zoom back out. Now count up the shaded area of the model. Remember that every column is worth 10 hundredths, so if there are six columns, that's 60 hundredths, plus one additional hundredth in the seventh column for a total of 61 hundredths. Now we're going to solve the same problem using the standard algorithm. Type the first add end into the top text box and type the second add end into the second text box. Make sure that the decimal points are lined up. Now add like you would with whole numbers, making sure to regroup if necessary and bring the decimal point straight down into the answer. The sum is 61 hundredths, which matches the same answer that we got with the visual model. 